Hey guys, my name is Ryan, and welcome to Overwatch Central. One of my favourite things about talking about Overwatch, even after all of this time, almost three years since we've started this channel, has been how a set of changes can impact other heroes completely and the meta as a whole. And that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. We're going to be talking about the changes that are currently on the PTR, but will be hitting live servers fairly soon, how they're going to interact with certain heroes in a more indirect buff and nerf manner, and also talking about the buffs that are actually on the PTR they could really catapult some heroes into the meta and I mean like hard meta playing them all of the time before that I guess we have the real big news to go over Hammond is going to be hitting the live clients next week so this kind of brought up why I wanted to talk about it now it is of course pure speculation other than the games that we've had on the PTR currently but based off interactions that are already going on in the game there's a real interesting rock paper scissors meta going on right now between dive Brigitte comps, which is, you know, Reinhardt's area close together, fighting at close range, and then double snipers too. We mentioned Brigitte, so we'll start with her. Ever since Brigitte's been in the game, she's really favoured those close quarters compositions. Reinhardt, Zarya, you can even run stuff like Reaper in there, the Lucio to project it. You have the Goats comp, which is a perfect example of that, uh, which is Reinhardt, Zarya, Diva, Moira, Lucio, Brigitte. And the whole idea is to just rush onto a point, give the enemy team no time to breathe and just completely run over them. And that's the kind of meta that was at the start of Season 10 at least, especially with new Hanzo sort of in the mix with the Zarya combination. So people hated that meta at the start of Season 10, but it slowly evolved into something like Double Sniper. Brigitte's biggest weakness is long-range heroes fighting her from a distance. A, she can't do anything about it, and B, she gets completely droughted out from doing any form of healing or support on her team other than throwing armor packs. It's because, you know, you need to hit stuff that's close range to be able to activate your passive. If the enemy team is on a race on the high ground with a Hanzo and Widowmaker on two separate bits of high ground that you can't reach, you can't do anything. I'd like to call it the keep away comp because it reminds me of the bully at school that was like, you know, two feet taller than you, grab your bag, hold it over your head, and you can't get anywhere near them. And that's exactly how this composition plays out. But I don't really see anybody talking about it. Brigitte's popularity is dropping. It's not as good as it used to be, mostly because players may have just got bored of playing the in inverted commas new hero, but now that it's Hammond. And the other thing is it's very difficult to actually make it work unless you're going in with a very specific comp. A 2-2-2 lineup with just, you know, Mercy Brigitte isn't enough healing. And if you want to run 2-2-2, you either have to drop the Mercy or drop the Zen in place for Brigitte. And you really can't do that with either of them. You could run triple support, which was the staple meta before, but it is, again, very easy to telegraph and run around. You can easily go, they're running triple support. Let's get a Farrah, let's get a Widowmaker, let's get a Hanzo. Let's just fight them at long range and try and keep them at a distance. The smarter teams will play around you playing Brigitte. But Ryan, I hear you ask, what does this have to do with the stuff on the PTR? From the sounds of it, you're just saying this is it right now. Well, there were some damage fall off changes to Bastion, McCree, May, and Soldier 76, all of which have had their minimum damage at max range increased a good 20%. May has no damage fall off on her endothermic blaster secondary fire anymore. And I feel that this is really important to highlight because right now, what did I say that counts as Brigitte? Long range heroes, Hanzo, Widowmaker, they're very extreme examples because they're snipers. They can't fight anywhere else other than long range, really. Unless you're Hanzo, you just kill everybody anyway, it doesn't matter. But the point I'm trying to highlight here is that all of these heroes now have their effectiveness at range increase and Brigitte will hate that. Brigitte's already in a really rocky spot. Her popularity is still strong but when it comes to heroes being made stronger at a long distance it's more that these are more options there to completely shut down what Brigitte wanted to do. If you're still not sure what I mean then let's use Farah as an example as she's also been indirectly nerfed for similar reasons. One of Farah's biggest counters is forms of hitscan, McCree, Soldier. You know the old days where people went, oh they have a Farah, we need a Soldier or McCree, that kind of stuff. But Soldier and McCree haven't been as good because the meta's really favoured close quarters heroes as opposed to these mid to long range. It's either like really close stuff like Doomfist, Reinhardt, Zarya, or long range like Hanzo and Widowmaker. The in-betweens have been somewhat meh for so long. But now McCree, Soldier are a lot better at longer ranges 
and especially McCree's ult change that his Deadeye now reaches longer distances. That only spells bad news for Farah. It just means that these heroes are going to be able to do more damage to a Farah, even if they're at longer distances, which will put her under more pressure. So even though they're two very different heroes, Farah and Brigitte do suffer from the same thing. Even as a Brigitte player, I like that there's going to be more options to take down a Brigitte comp in general, because nobody wants to play these really one-dimensional compositions, and that's exactly what Brigitte is. Like, she's really effective and really strong in certain areas. I wouldn't deem her OP, but she's certainly obnoxious to play against. But she's very one-dimensional, you can work around it fairly easily. And she does get hard countered by stuff, that's for sure. Finally, do we think that McCree is going to rise up in popularity? And to be fair, his popularity right now is still pretty good, only in certain areas though. Again, we'll look at the top tier. I know it's not really representative of our games in Ranked, but it really does show where McCree can be really good. He gets used on stuff like Lijian Control Center, Oasis University, and especially Ilios Well, you know, Pine popping off in those areas kind of thing. And the reason for that is that McCree's effective range in those areas is really good. The damage fall off doesn't exceed the little Colosseum areas, especially on, let's say, Well, where the main point has been fought in like a 10 meter radius. And that's only going to get increased. McCree's effective damage at range is going to get better, so that does enable him to fight at much larger ranges, like King's Row first point. Eichenwald third. These are areas that could see him used a lot. And especially now that we're seeing more Orisa, we may see the traditional anti-dive comp of Orisa, Roadhog, Junkrat, McCree, Zen Mercy a lot more like we did in the stage one of Overwatch League. Maybe switch out with a Widow depending on certain maps, those kind of areas. But I really do see McCree being played a hell of a lot more than he is right now. Soldier, Bastion, May, they're going to be good in certain areas, but just not as good as McCree. I feel that we're really going to start to see this Cowboy showing up a lot more. But let us know what you think in the comments below, whether you agree or disagree, whether you think that it's fair that Brigitte can get countered by so much stuff, and whether you feel it's just, I suppose. Thanks for watching, take care, we'll see you next time.